All right, guys, today we are at Lowe's to finally get some pea gravel to put around the pond and, uh, you know, make it look good, put it around it, cover up the tarp, probably put it in it some. Might also get some river rock. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to go see if I can find one of those big old cart things and start loading some of this up, and then we'll take it out to the pond. All right, just got back to the pond. Got these four bags of pea gravel and two little, uh, or actually, one, two, three, four, five little uh, plants. I forgot what they're called. Maybe it's like monkey grass or something. I don't really remember, but, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna plant them around the pond and we're just gonna put the pea gravel around the pond. And also, I found a uh, really big stump. I don't know if you can see it from up there, up here, I mean. Maybe you can see it way down there is a really big stump I found and uh, I'm gonna try to roll it up here to like set it like somewhere around here so I can just sit whenever I'm like doing some other pond and I need to take a break I don't want to sit on the ground so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing in this today's video we're just gonna be basically working on the pond we'll probably put once we get the gravel around put some Cool rocks like this one, that one, that one, that one, all these rocks, that big one over there. Maybe go find some more in the woods, maybe go buy some more. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's get to it. So, I'm down here at uh, where this big old stump is, and uh, I'm gonna try using the Polaris to drag it all the way up to my pond, which is just behind that tree. And so, the mechanism that we're gonna attempt to use is very ghetto, but so we got this like long wire which definitely isn't gonna break with just a ton of little square knots under that uh, little hole in the like near the ball hitch and then at the end of here we got a carabiner like a heavy duty one and then what I'm gonna do is with this on this uh, stump I'm gonna wrap this uh, like wire uh, around it and then like once it like meets in the middle uh, if you know what I mean, then I'm gonna clip them together and then cinch that up and then try to either roll it or just drag it in all-wheel drive or something. So, uh, yeah, see if this thing works. Get it to where it's like up on the middle here. Cinch it down. Now I gotta try and flip this like 500 pound thing. Oh, okay. So I got that done. Okay, cinch that down. Just like that. And now, once the tension gets on it from me driving, uh, that'll probably Day. Well, probably not, but I'm going to try it.
dog. All right, guys, it's the next day. Tons of stuff is happening out here by the pond. We got gravel, we got plants, we got rocks, we got dump load up. We got more rocks, we got more plants coming, we got plants in there. Tons of stuff happening. But today, uh, we need to focus on getting all this gravel cleaned off and put around in and just all around this area to make it look a lot better. But we're gonna start off with these plants is uh, they're the one, things that need to go in the ground first because rocks can wait. But uh, these are living things. So I'm thinking I'll put probably like one right here, right here, and then like a few more to spread them out around there and then they'll grow into big things eventually. And hopefully they'll look cool even I'll kill them first because I probably will. But uh, yeah, let's plant these. We got all these little plants planted, one there on this corner of the pond, and then one there, and then one over there, and then the other two are right here. I basically just put them just on there, like where I kind of had to throw the dirt, where, because up here there's already grass growing, and I just want things to like grow up here, and whenever they're big it'll be like cool, like there'll be like a big one here, and then a big one here, and then I'll have more plants everywhere. It looks sick, but uh, now we're gonna get to the main part of today's video, probably. Um, getting this gravel, and uh, yeah. All right guys, so here's my little process that I just made up of uh, putting the gravel out, you know? So if any of y'all have ever built a pond or watched somebody that has uh, built a pond, most of them always use gravel, of course, just because it looks so good. But whenever you buy it in these bags, from like Lowe's or Home Depot or anywhere basically, whenever you get them, they're all dirty and like just a lot of dirt, like because they just have them in piles and then they bag them up with like tons of dirt. And now my hands are dirty just from that little uh, like handful. So if I dump these in there, it would make that pond so much more dirty. Even though it, uh, it is already dirty, I'm gonna fix that with plants and everything and rocks and everything after. So what I'm gonna do, so the gravel can be clean around here. Um, I'm gonna pour some of the gravel into this really fine mesh net. And then I'm gonna dip in here a few times and then let the dirty water drain. And then I'm gonna dump it in here. And then once it's in the bucket, I'm gonna walk around and dump it around. So basically it'll be dirty in here and then I'll wash it off in this. So this will be like the washing bucket and this will be the pouring bucket and I might also walk around with this net and pour from the net I don't know but uh yeah hopefully I understand what I just said let's get to it all right guys it's a few hours later and I have used up all four of these gravel bags and one bucket full of that and one bucket full of that uh full of gravel from our driveway also just because i didn't have enough i thought those four bags would be plenty to surround the pond but i've only gotten from there all the way to about like right there and over here i'm still building up a little bit of dirt as you can see so it's not as slanted got the plants and uh yeah so this is what it's looking like I also put a big rock there, rocks there. You can basically just see wherever there are rocks. And over here, I kind of had a uh, little clump of uh, rocks. And in the middle, I cut a little hole in the tarp right under there and put one of those little plants inside 
of the hole and now it looks like it's growing out of the rocks which I just thought was kind of cool and yeah it's nowhere near finished got to get more gravel got to come out here build more dirt up and everything but it is getting pretty late and I have uh, a lot more work to do so I am just uh, gonna see y'all tomorrow I guess whenever I'm finishing this up